I got my wine, honey, cause wine make you feel fine. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica. My channel is called It's E Lifestyle and it's all about creating a good lifestyle. Today is Sunday, so I'm just getting back from a quick store run. I think I'm going to do a small Sunday dinner. It's kind of late in the day. It's probably about 3 o'clock, but I just, you know, I wanted something just something good to eat. Um, I really didn't get to enjoy Thanksgiving dinner. I think I ate once because I wasn't feeling good because I've been sick for probably the past two weeks. I don't have COVID, so COVID has been ruled out, but this is like the first day that I'm actually starting to feel better. I'm about, probably about 95% um, better and the reason why I'm not a hundred percent is because I'm still I still have like coal and mucus up in here and up in here so I'm just gonna share with you guys what I got from the store and go ahead and get Sunday dinner started so today's Sunday dinner is going to be fried chicken collard greens I had like two bun two I had two bags of greens left over from Thanksgiving um, so I'm gonna do collard greens and yellow rice and probably some blueberry muffins. So I have some vegetable oil to fry the chicken. I have the Jiffy blueberry muffin mix. I have some Italian dressing, which I just keep on hand because I use it to season a lot of stuff. I have two lemons, some white distilled vinegar, one onion. I have some chicken, chicken fry. Some smoked pig, oh shoot, some smoked pigtails for the greens, the chicken, and I love to have seafood on Sundays in the evening. So if I feel like having me some seafood, I have one crab leg and one king crab leg. So I probably steam these a little later after I've had dinner and then I got my wine, honey, cause wine make you feel fine. So if you are not new here, you know that Dublin is my favorite red wine and I have the Hatteras Red. I kind of switch between the Carolina Red and the Hatteras Red. So I have my wine and that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to go ahead and get dinner started and then I don't know. We'll see. lovers as you can see I am in my bed so I've already taken Mookie to school um, it's a rainy Monday morning which is perfect for being off today it's about 8 41 so I pretty much got finished with my morning skin routine and my skin has been doing some crazy things lately and I, I can admit that I haven't been taking care of it like I am supposed to. I haven't been doing my water intake like I am supposed to. I don't drink sodas or juices or anything like that. But I haven't been drinking as much water as I typically do. So I know I need to do better with that. But I just washed my face with my Mirad Clarifying Cleanser. I have a pimple. 
coming in in pretty much the same spot where I'm also having some hyperpigmentation. So I used um, my Marad Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment. This is what I placed on the pimple. And I've used this before. It usually goes away within a day or two. And then I used the Olay Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Eye Cream. So this is what I use um, under my eyes. And then I just moisturize with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, which I'm about out of it now because I pretty much had to squeeze it. So I think I'm just gonna do some editing and just enjoy my morning. I have my, what is this? Caramel Apple Spice that I made at home. So I'm just gonna enjoy this. And if you are interested in this recipe, I did it on my first week's Vlogmas video. It's so good. So definitely try it, but check that video out. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to edit, pay some bills, and just enjoy my vacation, honey. So yeah, I'll check back in with you guys later. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that I think I'm doing today is I need to return some stuff for my client. Just a few things. And I think that's it. I don't plan to do much today. I plan to rest. I plan to kind of get caught up on what I need to get caught up on. And that's it. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So I'm just rolling out of bed and it's almost two o'clock. So after I edited the video this morning when I was talking to you guys, I rolled over and I went back to sleep and I kind of been in bed ever since then so i'm just just getting out of bed but i definitely needed this rest because i think part of the reason that my body was taking so long to get better is because i wasn't resting i think i laid in bed one sunday and then after that when monday came i hit the ground running i think it was the sunday after thanksgiving was the the sunday that i just rest but your body needs rest to heal Probably as much as it needs anything else. Medicine, natural remedies, whatever you use. But anyway, so I'm just going to have a glass of orange juice. And I'm going to fix me a plate of food from Sunday dinner yesterday. Because I'm hungry. And I want some food. Um, but I woke up to a big box from CB2. So a couple of months ago, um, I told you guys like I, I was revamping my kitchen. I want to kind of like up my kitchen game as far as dishes and pots and just make sure I have all of the measuring things that I need and all of the gadgets. So um, this is actually some items from CB2. And I'm going to do a haul, but the vlogs are the sneak peek. I think I told you guys that before because... I don't have a lot of time to kind of, you know, get on Instagram and post and edit pictures and all that stuff like that. This is just easier to kind of share things here. Um, but I ordered some dishes and this is, this is big. I didn't realize this, this, is, this was that big, but this is a salad bowl that I ordered from CB2. And I'm going to do a haul when everything gets here, which I don't know when everything will be here. But I'm gonna do a haul, but it's actually some dishes. So I actually ordered some. I think these are the dinner plates. These are the salad plates. And what's this? Okay, these are bowls. So I ordered two bowls. I ordered two of these bowls. I ordered a salad plate. And I ordered four dinner plates and four, four, no, four dinner plates, four salad plates, a salad bowl, and then two bowls. So you'll get to see the plates when I do the unboxing, but I just wanted to show you guys a sneak peek of that. But I'll do the haul once everything comes. So I'm not even sure when that's going to be. But you guys will get a chance to see it. But this, this is, this is like really really nice so i want to have a variety of dishes ranging from black clear and white <clears throat> and i bought some plates from 
Amazon that I did a haul a couple of weeks back for, for Amazon Prime Day. So those are really nice as well. And so, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and eat some lunch and then try to get myself ready because I do need to do a little running round. I have to pick up my grandson King today. So my daughter has clinicals to till seven o'clock. So I have to get him. So I want to make sure everything that I need to do gets done by the time I pick him up so I can focus on my baby. So you guys will get a chance to see him a little later on this evening. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and eat lunch and yeah, I'm feeling better. I think I'm like a hundred percent too. So I think I'm feeling I think I'm, I'm back to my old self. I'm feeling like I'm back to my old self anyway. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So I'm still home. I kind of been lounging all day um, answering comments. So I'm caught up on all of the comments that I missed out from the last few days when I wasn't feeling good. But I'm just going to make me one of my favorite snacks. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. So this caramel dip is the Marzetti's caramel dip. I'm going to take um that's probably enough about uh two spoonfuls of that and then I'm going to mix it with this English toffee bit. This is a good dip too. Um you know like if you want to take an appetizer to a party mm -hmm. function it's a good dip for, for that as well. That's actually the first time that I had it. I think somebody made it for one of our Christmas functions at work. And it was so good. So I'm just going to, you know, just mix it up. I didn't measure how much I added. But I'm just going to mix up enough toffee in here. And then I have the Granny Smith apples. I'm just gonna dip it into the apples. And just take it, dip it. It's good. So yeah, I'ma just have me a snack. I have to pick King up in about an hour. I just decided Everything that I need to do, I'll do it in the morning. I'm on vacation again tomorrow, so. That's good. Y'all, look who I got with me. His dad about to come get him, but I wanted him to tell y'all, hey. Tell the lifestyle lovers, hey. Hey, let them see them big, beautiful eyes. Hey, boy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Hey, tell the lifestyle lovers, hey, say I'm about to go. Say my daddy coming to get me. Say I'm about to go. Tell him hey. Say hey. My baby finna go. I just wanted y'all to get a chance to see that beautiful face. To brighten up y'all day. Because it's so beautiful. It's so handsome. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. That's my baby. Hey, grandson. Okay, lifestyle lovers. So my baby King, he only stayed for about 10 minutes and his dad came to pick him up before my daughter got out of school. So I was able to love on him for probably about 10 minutes. And then I just decided to just go ahead and run my errands that I needed to run. So I went to TJ Maxx, Walmart, Home Depot, and Bed Bath & Beyond. I had to take some stuff back for a client and I had to take some stuff back that I had purchased um, as well. So I ended up returning that stuff and then came out with something else. So I just, I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. This is a Brookstone automatic wine opener and foil cutter. It was $12.99 from Marshalls and it takes two AA batteries. So the current wine opener that I use now, oh shoot, it's just like a manual one. So I won't, you know, you just press a button and it, it inserts into the cork and then pulls it out. I just grab some spicy jalapeno popcorn and then I also grabbed, this is a set of six 
white washcloths. This was $6.99 from Marshalls. And this is a six piece set of washcloths, hand towels, and towels. I am switching all of my towels to all white, but I wanna get at least 30. I wanna get at least um, 30 towels, hand towels, and washcloths before I throw all the colored ones out. So I'm just pretty much um, just getting my collection up. So I, I have some already and I just bought more. So once I get to 30, I'm throwing all of the colored washcloths, rags, hand towels away. It'll just be all white. And I got some Dawn dish soap from Home Depot. And I got the claw drywall picture hanger. This is what I use to hang my pictures in my home as well as in my client's home. It, it is almost minimal to no damage to your walls. I used to use another brand and I can't remember the name, but it's pretty much the same thing. You just take these. This one holds up to 15 pounds, but they go up. You can go up to 25 pounds, up to 50 pounds, but you pretty much just take this little metal thing and you press it in the drywall. You may have to use maybe a hammer sometimes just to kind of push it if your fingertip can't do it because sometimes mine can't do it. You press it in the drywall and you hang your picture. And if, if it's not the right mark, go ahead. If it's not the right mark or whatever the case may be, you just pull it out and the hole is probably a pin size hole. So um, these are great for hanging pictures. Two ranch sunflower seeds. And then I got the Hershey syrup mix to drizzle on my caramel apple spice um, mocha. Did you want to say hi to the lifestyle lovers? Hi. Here's Mookie. I know you guys probably haven't seen him in a while, but he's cleaning up. Take that straw out your mouth. He's cleaning up his room, so he was just emptying his trash. So tell everybody hi. Okay. So yeah, lifestyle lovers, it's probably about, it's not quite nine o'clock, but I'm gonna go ahead, take my shower, wind down. I may fix me some crab legs, I don't know. But I'm in for tonight, it is really, really cold outside. But um, if not, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. lifestyle lovers today is Tuesday it is the third day of the vlog so I've already dropped Mookie back at school I'm back home I'm just getting ready to I need to do my budget <laughs> basically balance some accounts I need to balance my account um, I also need to balance my clients budget because money has just been flying everywhere out of my accounts for the last couple of weeks so i just need to make sure i have all of that in order and what else i need to make a hair appointment and i just need to get the money straight and then i can move forward with whatever else is planned for today which i don't know i may go to hobby lobby because i need a few more things for the kitchen for the christmas decorations for the kitchen and I believe that might be it on the agenda today. So I'm just going to go ahead, balance these accounts, um, get the money situated, send my client an updated um, debit and credit um, itemized list of what's been spent. And yeah, and so I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Hi, lifestyle lovers. Okay, it's probably about, I think it's about one o'clock in the afternoon. So I've just fried up a fresh batch of fried chicken and I have some collard greens left over from Sunday and I made a fresh batch of yellow rice and I'm going to take it over to Babe's house. So we're going to have lunch over there. So I'm basically getting ready to go over there. I just got dressed, put on some clothes, did a little light um, face and I started taking my faux locks out. 
Um, so it's looking kind of crazy, but I did make my hair appointment, so I can check that off my list. So next time you see me, honey, this hair is going to be laid. But I'm just going to show you my outfit of the day, which is nothing spectacular. So I just have on some white jeans. I got on my Nike sweatshirt. This is my sweatshirt. It's not my son's sweatshirt, but he does have one just like it. And then I have on my Air Max. My black and gold Air Max. So just a little fun fact about me, lifestyle lovers. I have never been a tennis shoe girl. I've always been a heel girl or a sandal girl. But I am officially a tennis shoe girl. It's all about comfort for me now. Not, you know, not necessarily fashion or, you know, looking good. It's, it's really comfort is at the top of my list when I get ready to get dressed. But, um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just going to head over to Babe's house. I do have a few more stores that I need to go in. So I don't know if, if I'm going to you know, go with babe or whatever the case may be, but I'll check back in with you guys in a little while. Okay, lifestyle lover. So I'm sitting in front of Mookie school waiting for him to get out of tutoring. When I went over to babe house, we ate and we just kind of lounged around, honey. Played kissy face all afternoon. So, um... <laughs> I'm getting ready to pick Mook up, but I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. There's not much going on. Tomorrow, I return to work, so my vacation is over, so I'll be working pretty much 90% of the time tomorrow. And Thursday, not much going on. I need, I did start it, taking these faux locks out while I was at Babe House as well, so... um. I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby, but I don't think I'm going to do that until Friday. So I may just do a weekend vlog because I do have some stuff um, coming up this weekend, you know. So um, I may just go ahead and do a weekend vlog, but I'm going to go ahead and end the weekly vlog here. Mookie wanted to say hi, lifestyle lovers. He wanted to say hi to the vlog. <laughs> why you why you make make it seem like hi go ahead hi. say hi. hi to the lifestyle lovers come on up here so they can see you hello back up i hope everyone is having a great week and happy holidays and i will see you guys on the next vlog or video